Hi everyone, my name is Stefan, I'm a pulmonologist. In this video I will demonstrate and review a very commonly used inhaler which is Ceratide. Now Ceratide is this sort of um, mauve purple looking inhaler. Uh, this is a demonstrator device but it will help me show you exactly how the inhaler looks like, what it has inside and basically how to use it. So if your doctor prescribed Ceratide for you this is what it is. This is basically what it will look like. Now, I'm not endorsing the use of this inhaler over another inhaler. I have many other um, inhaler videos on my channel. I'm just trying to show you the devices and how they, they work, how they're operated, and perhaps this may be helpful to you to make uh, better choices together with your doctor. So always talk to your doctor about changing your treatment, about going on any respiratory treatment, because you need a consultation really before you decide anything. Now, Ceratide is, uh, has been on the market for many, many years. It's a very common inhaler, but I think it's useful to, to kind of review how it's used because some people like it a lot, some people don't. So this is, again, something down to personal choice of the patient. And I think that if you have a good inhaler technique, that's probably going to make your treatment a lot better. So, so that's very, very important. These devices need training. For any device that you're using, you really need, how, need to know and learn and practice how to use it correctly because then you will have a better outcome. Also, I recommend always taking your inhaler with you to your consultations and showing your doctor in the doctor's office how you're taking it so you can receive immediate feedback whether you're doing it right or not and whether you can improve. Ceratide is an inhaler that contains a combination of medications. So it has corticosteroid inside, which is an anti-inflammatory drug controlling the inflammation in the airways. And also it contains a long-acting bronchodilator. So this is a medication that opens up the airways and keeps them open for slightly longer, for about 12 hours roughly. So generally that means that the medication is used as a controller about twice a day. Now, your doctor may change that regimen slightly depending on your clinical condition, so always discuss the treatment regimen with your doctor. This device, as you see, is like a disc. It's called discus, right? So it's not only for ceratide. So I, I mentioned ceratide before, but some other medications may use the discus device. So this is basically how it looks like. And as you can see, it's, it's fairly easy to use. Now, I'm going to show you what it has. It has basically a dose counter here. I'm not sure if you can see it very, very well. Uh, I'm trying to, to get the camera to focus on this. Now it shows 36 doses left, which is, which is useful. And then basically, to use it, you need to sort of twist this wheel to open the inhaler. And this will expose the mouthpiece through which you will breathe in the medication. It's a dry powder inhaler, very important to mention. So this means that the drug inside is in a powder form. So you need to breathe in forcefully and deeply to really get the powder moving and deep into your lungs. Now, before you do that, you've opened it up, you've twisted it like this, and it has a little lever here. So you can see this little thing here. So in order to continue using the inhaler, in order to activate and then to, to basically be able to take the medication, you need to press this down. And this clicks, right? So this means that the inhaler now is ready to be used. And by holding it like this, like so, you will then breathe in through this mouthpiece. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that now. But if you remember, I said it's a dry powder and inhaler, so you need to breathe in forcefully and deeply. So first of all, you need to empty your lungs completely of air. Then you put this to your mouth and breathe in deeply, forcefully, and hold your breath at the top for about 10 seconds if you can. Let me show you now. So breathing out first. and slowly releasing. So what I've done there is basically to empty my lungs completely, put this in my mouth, and then breathe in forcefully and deeply, holding my breath at the top, slowly releasing. Try to hold your breath for 10 seconds if you can. Now, once you've done that, basically you've, you've taken the dose. So now to close it, you just basically twist the wheel back in. You don't touch the lever, you don't need to, and you will see actually that this lever will go back on its own. So let's... I hope you saw that. Um, I'm not sure if the camera focused, but basically the lever is back in now. So now the medication's ready to be used again. Now it shows 35 here. So I'm gonna try and take another dose and see what happens so you can see exactly how this inhaler is used. So I'm gonna just twist it again. The lever's up here. I press it down. I arm the device. It's ready to be used. I breathe out and you'll see the rest. Oh. 
hold, 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 and slowly release. And now I'm done with it. So I'm just gonna twist it back in, right? Like so, beaver's gone back. It shows 34. So basically, this is useful because it shows you how many doses you've taken, and it's fairly easy to use. This is one of the big pros of this device. It's a dry powder inhaler, but it's, it's sort of intuitive because you twist, you press on the lever, and then you're ready to go. It's kind of one, two, breathe in. So it's, it's kind of easy in that regard. So let me do it again if I've already armed it anyway. And slowly to release. So forcefully and deeply, remember that one. And then once you're done, basically the last step, you close it and the lever comes back up. So that's a pro, it's fairly easy to use. Now about the cons of this uh, inhaler device, one thing to mention is that basically, if you're struggling a little bit with arthritis or your hands are, are don't grip very well, it might be tricky to get this open properly, right? So you might struggle a bit with that. Now, the other thing is, because it's a dry powder inhaler, if you are very, very breathless and you can't really breathe in forcefully and deeply, that might be an issue because if you breathe in, say, I'm activating it now, right? But if you breathe in like this, that's completely wrong. That won't help at all. The powder won't get in deeply within the lungs and that won't help you at all. So you really need to breathe in forcefully. So hold, hold, hold and release. So this is a bit of a con for these sort of devices uh, because you really need to be quite strong to do it. So don't think that you need a lot, a lot of energy to do it, but it's best to maybe try one out, try a demonstrator out in your doctor's office to see if this is the right one for you. However, if you're perfectly fine with the technique, it's a great inhaler to use um, and it can help control your, your asthma, for example, your COPD very well. It's a very established medication. Now, one important thing, I mentioned that it contains corticosteroids, which is, uh, which are basically a, a medication that controls inflammation in the lungs. But if that powder remains at the back of your throat, it can irritate uh, the back of the throat, cause a bit of a neural thrush or a voice hoarseness. So it's always, always important to rinse um, after using the inhaler. So take a little bit of water after you've done taking the dose, uh, swish it around your mouth, gargle a bit, and then spit. Uh, just to make sure there's no residual medication at the back of your throat. There's no point of it being there. It only needs to go into your lungs. I hope you found this helpful and there are other inhaler technique uh, videos on my channel. So please check those out. And if you consider this helpful, do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in future videos.